Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Just talking about, in a video or two ago, the D760. Uh, that's what I'm calling it, the update to the Nikon D750. Very popular camera. We had some very interesting comments regarding the 760 or the D750's replacement, whatever you choose to call it. Um, Shunak writes in here, it's a YouTube username, uh, I have a feeling they are not going to continue all the series. The 850 series will definitely go on as an all-purpose flagship, and they may either upgrade the 610 or the 750 series, but discontinue one. So that's interesting. Um, as we were just talking, I was just talking about another comment about whether um, we would see the DSLRs feature stripped uh, because the competition is with mirrorless and Sony. But this, taking it one step further, are we going to see a reduction... Well, as I mentioned, in the coming years, I think we're going to see the end of DSLRs. Is this the beginning? Will we, in, like, we're, we're ready here for a 610 update, probably the 620, and a 750 update, I'm saying the 760. Will we not see one of those? Are they going to already axe one of the DSLR lineup from Nikon there in full frame? I'm not sure which one they'd get rid of there. I agree that we would see the 850 series continue, for now anyways. It all depends how well mirrorless goes. And, and obviously in the long term, I think it's going to disappear. Um, and I'm not sure which one we'd see we would lose there. Um, it's a good question. I could see arguments for both sides. Not come out with a 760 because you have the entry-level 620, this is a successor to the 610, come out. You do a lot of updates on it. Maybe move it up a little bit spec-wise as far as maybe bring it closer to what a 750 is. Maybe amalgamate the two and then not have a 760. And I think then you could leave it at a more of a lower price point to capture that end of the market. But then do you have a hole there? Or does Nikon see that where their new full-frame mirrorless sits and then they're not worried about it? Or do we lose... A 610. Is there no update to the 610? No 620 or whatever you wish to call it. Maybe we get a 760 because they see the 850 and the uh, 760 as twins. One's the uh, lower resolution, faster, higher ISO camera. The 850 is your more all-around flagship that's very high resolution, not quite as fast, not quite as good at high ISO. And they give us a 760 that's stellar at all of those. That's a very likely option too, but it does leave the bottom of the market empty. Again, we have to see what's coming out with these mirrorless cameras. The 24 megapixel uh, mirrorless that's coming out could sit where Nikon considers a 760 should sit. Or it could even replace the 610. Curious to see what you guys think. Um, Mark Hedges also wrote in, I would be surprised to see the 610 get an upgrade. With mirrorless added in, that's just too many bodies to support. So that's an interesting point. Mark's saying uh, he thinks it'll be the 610 that doesn't get updated and goes away. What do you guys think? Do you think we're going to lose the 610 series? There'll be no 620 or no successor? Do you think we're going to lose the 750 series? No 760, no successor there. Do you think it's because Nikon's going to see it as they're plugging the mirrorless into that hole? It's curious to see what you guys have to say about this. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think we're already going to see the elimination of one of Nikon's full-frame DSLR lines because the mirrorless is coming out. Or just because they're amalgamating a two, do you think it's because of the mirrorless? Let me know. Let's discuss it. Comments below. Interested to hear your guys' take on this. Thanks, Shunak. Thanks, Mark. Great comments. Got me thinking again. Um, very interesting to surmise where Nikon's going with their roadmap and obviously very excited to see what they're going to do with their mirrorless. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.